Rini and this is my friend Kliko. Hi everybody. We are here to help you learn about computers. Hi Rini, you look thoughtful. What are you thinking about? Oh, hi Kliko. I was just wondering what our teacher said about computers yesterday. What has she said? Well, she said that unlike humans, a computer can do many things quickly, accurately, without making any mistake. Is it true? Yes, Rini, it is true. A computer can do many things quickly and accurately. How is it possible for a computer to do so many things without making any mistakes? Rini, a computer is an electronic machine. It is designed in such a way that it can do multiple tasks at the same time without making any mistake. Does not a computer get tired like human while working? No, Rini, as the computer is a machine. It never gets tired or bored like humans by doing the same thing or many things at the same time. So, that's why the computer is said to be a special machine. Yes, Rini, as the computer is very fast, accurate, diligent and can do multiple tasks at the same time. It is called a special machine. Tell me about some of the things that a computer can do. Using a computer, we can write a letter, chat with our friends, drop, play games, find informations, or get digital photos from our cameras beside other things. Wow! So many things! Does that mean... A computer is superior to humans, Clicko? No, Rini. A computer is not superior to man, as it is a machine and cannot take decision on its own. Tell me something more. How a computer is different from a human being? Let me give you some points by which a computer is different from a human being. First, man needs food to work while a computer needs electricity to work. Human have their own brains, while a computer has an artificial brain called CPU. A human being can work on his own, while a computer needs commands to work. A human being has emotions and feelings, while a computer does not have any emotions and feelings. A human being gets tired and needs rest after work, while a computer never gets tired and can work longer. A human being can take decisions while a computer cannot take its own decisions. A human being is slow in computing and calculating while a computer is fast in computing and calculating. Thank you, Kliko. Now I know about the difference between a human being and a computer. Kliko. I have seen that our computers in school are large and kept on tables. While I have seen Dad using a small computer which he just placed on his lap and he carries it with him to office. Yes, Rini. Computers are of different shapes and sizes. The computer at your school which are kept on desks are called desktop computers. These computers are not carried from one place to another. They are mostly used in offices, schools or at home. A small computer that you have seen with your dad is called a laptop computer. They look like small briefcase and people can carry these computers with them while they are traveling. Nowadays, the latest improved models of laptops are called notebooks. These are similar to laptops but are lighter in weight. The average notebooks weigh about 3 to 4 kilograms. 
there are some even smaller computers which can hold in our hand or put them inside our pocket. They are called palm top computers. Thank you, Kiko. Now I will not be confused if I see different type of computers. 